You're right, guys. Oli Lam and Matt Seddon here from the Sunday Podcast. Sports Shoes kindly invited us down to the ASIC Gel Nimbus 25 event, so we're going to see what happens today. Yeah, we're buzzing to take a look inside, see what they've got in store for us, speak to a couple tech reps, find a little bit more information about the product, technical information as well. Um, but we've got them on feet, and we're going to put them to the test as well today. some of the, uh, the comfort, I guess, and where it might sit in the rotation for, say, an elite runner. I think the shoe is really designed with a focus on sort of your everyday runner. Um, of course, our athletes are capable of trying the shoe and running it, and what we see, then picking it up as a shoe that's really used for, like, yeah, a very easy session at the end of a hard and long week. So let's say they have done some very intense intervals, not some mileage during the week. This is your perfect shoe to just yeah, ease in the last miles of your week. Yeah, I think I'd 100% agree with that in terms of my, like, impressions of consumer feedback I'd say that definitely like the day after a hard session it really helps just cushion your foot uh, it's interesting you talk about the durability of the shoe and like mm -hmm. how important was that like did you do you have a sort of number that you reckon the shoe gets to mileage wise yeah I think generally we say between 600 to 800 kilometers wow. which a couple of things important right how you run and who you are as a runner really influences big time but generally our testing goes up to 600 to 800 kilometers we do this with a, a, a yeah till 200 kilometers right now sort of look at the, the, the durations and then but we also have a mechanical testing where we put on a robotic a cycle well, yeah. and then there's a certain scale of measurement that we use but the Nimbus and also shoe like a piano for us are so important yeah. and they are premium in price but you get a premium for it but then they also need to be durable so durability with these shoes are just key for us right to make sure that they are hitting at least an 800 600 kilometer and just for people kind of looking on the sports shoes website they want to buy the shoe what are the main things like if you have three takeaways obviously the comfort but apart from that if you've got like, three takeaways on like, why you should buy this shoe over other models even just other models from Asics. yeah well I, I think like ultimately it's, it's the comfort right we know that's so important um, so if it was just one reason number one always will be comfort right i think people will people who run will know this comfort is just key the other element is of course uh, the sustainability it's not that we're pushing very hard as a brand on big sustainability claims and that kind of stuff but i would say that within our power of essex and i think almost in the industry to create a true performance shoe with 20 percent sustainable material in this soul is really important for us because it's the shoe we sell most worldwide and we really wanted to make an impact so we did it where we sell the most and then lastly of course durability i think that's also an important element to to speak about and the shoe will just yeah be a worthwhile decision when purchasing because it will last longer than some other shoes will maybe and for all those miles we get it home first. Thanks very much for taking the time to speak. Yeah, of course. Welcome. Yeah, so obviously today is all about this shoe, the ASICS uh, Gel Nimbus 25. We're putting it through its paces against some other shoes on, on, on the market. And look, Matt, Matt, what do you reckon? It's definitely comfy like they suggest. Oh, absolutely. I've actually been able to test it against other brand shoes, which are very similar, meant to be you know cushioned shoes for the everyday trainer. And when you initially put this shoe on, it is very comfortable. Like, as soon as you put it on, you feel the softness in the midsole and the outsole, and it's got a knit upper, which kind of hugs your foot, grips your foot nicely. So no matter if you've got kind of a wide foot or, or a narrow foot, but kind of hugs it regardless and so it's very nice for walking around in very slow running yeah and obviously i've done about 30 miles in the shoe now you can see my pair's a little bit dirty already but it has really helped on those days in yeah. terms of like the day after a hard track session i've turned to this and just done some jogging in it but i think in terms of like an everyday trainer it might not be that but i think it's doing exactly what it's designed for this shoe is specific to comfort and it definitely ticks that box and i think definitely with as it's range these days they have so many shoes that each shoe needs to have a place and i think it definitely has a place in rotation and for me it's it's that recovery shoe when, when your legs are a bit beat up. <laughs> Thank you.
All right, guys, I'm here with a 209 Marathon and Azix man, Del Griffiths himself. Um, just going to get your thoughts on the shoe. Um, you do a lot of miles. Where do you see it sitting in your shoe rotation? Um, it's sort of the everyday shoe, isn't it? It's the shoe that you turn to when you're looking at a second run or, you know, you're in an easy day in between sessions and this is the shoe you jump to. Initial thoughts when you first put it on feet? Initial thought was like, oh, this is comfy. And then um, how flexible the top is as well, you know. Um, when you get um, a shoe out of the box, sometimes it feel a bit rigid for the first mile or two, and it, you know that that wasn't there at all. You know, and uh, the comfort of what it felt like the first first moments was noticeable and different to a for the shoe. And you've worn a lot of recovery shoes uh, with Asics over time and with other brands as well. How does this compare? It's definitely different. Um, like I said, those shoes from the box tend to be a bit more rigid first couple of miles. Uh -huh. This was ready to go. Yeah. from the moment I put it on and it felt yeah. felt comfy, you know, it felt spongy and yeah. it definitely felt like, oh, I, I, you know, let's go for a run in these because it was comfortable and, you know, you wouldn't be an issue for it. Yeah. Okay, that wraps up a day in London with Azix. Massive thanks to Sports Shoes for bringing us down here. It's been awesome to see the shoe and get to learn a bit more about it. Yeah, I agree with that. And for me, it was great to see, you know, the actual design behind the shoe. Um, the 36 months it took to design compared to the usual 24 months. They started designing it uh, when they were doing the gel Nimbus 24. Um, and we got to test it out. We got to compare it as well, which is an interesting dynamic we've never done before at one of these shoe launches. Um, and also we got to chat to all the front runners and people in the team behind the shoe and where the shoe will be in your kind of rotation and who the consumer is they want to buy it. Yeah, and if that's you, if you want to buy the shoe, it's available now at sportshoes.com to purchase. And we'll have loads more content coming very soon. We'll have reels, full shoe reviews and everything else.